In this quick tutorial, you're going to learn the difference between group products and variable products to help you figure out which one you should use in which cases. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn All, Pass and WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress to so earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. To illustrate the difference between group products and variable products, it is best to actually show you the difference rather than just explain it. So right now on this page here, we are on a variable product. I have a tutorial on how I built this variable product linked to in the card above and the description down below if you want to check out how I built it after you watch this video. And basically a variable product that we see here allows you to choose variations of a product. The most common example you see in tutorials is t-shirts. You have t-shirt colors and t-shirt sizes. And then you can mix and match or the, the customer can mix and match and choose which ones they want. I did something different here. I made macaroons as our product and we can choose a color and we can choose a size, just like the t-shirts, only it's macaroons. And then they can add them to cart. So that allows you to add them one at a time. So if I view the cart, we have now large yellow macaroon that we ordered. I can go back to this page and choose blue and I want a medium blue, but I want four of them. And that's fantastic. We can add that to cart, view our cart, and now we have that variation. Blue, medium, four of those. And we have yellow, large, one of those. And we can customize our order like that using variable products. Group products work a little differently. This right here is a group product. I built this in a tutorial on this channel as well, linked in the card above and the description down below. Grouped products are essentially single products that are grouped together to make it easier to buy. So the blue macaroon that we have here is an option, the red and the green, these are all individual products on this site that people can buy individually. But to make it more convenient, we lump them together into a group. You can't choose variations in this example, but you can choose the amounts of each one of these that you want. So maybe you want three blues, zero reds and five greens. And we add those to cart, we go to view cart, and we have those added as single line items. We have three blue macaroons, three green macaroons, and that is a group product. So that's the difference between the two. That is literally all it is. There is some overlap. For some product items, it might be difficult to choose which one you want to use, the variable product or the group product. But if you refer back to this tutorial and try to understand that the variable allows you to choose variations and the grouped is just single products that lump together for convenience. I think if you look at it from that perspective, you'll be able to choose which is the best for whichever products you're selling. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And to take this one step further, you can have variable products inside of your grouped products using what I show you in the tutorial in the card up above and the description down below. So maybe you don't have to worry about which is better grouped or variable because you could have them both at the same time. This is an example of this variable product inside a group product. We have a group product here. We can add the simple ones like you saw just a minute ago, but we also have a variable product right here. You can add as many variable products as you want. I just added one. In the free version of the plugin I show you here, you can only add three separate products to the group. With the pro version, I'm pretty sure it's unlimited or at the very least it's much more than three. And we can choose our variations, enter an amount, and then add to cart. And now we have in our cart, simple products and a variable product from the same group. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. If I go to view cart, we see our group product here. I have still some other stuff in the cart from earlier, but this is the one we just added the large red as the group, and we added some red and blue macaroons. And now we have a pretty big bill to pay just for some dessert. And if you use WooCommerce a lot, make sure you check out this playlist right here where I show you all kinds of tips and tricks on how to use it better and build better WooCommerce stores. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.